try to hold the perception of breath and mind. In other words, don't hold the perception of rain or cold or wet in mind. You could be focusing on those things, but then you're going to aggravate the problems that go around it. The Buddha pointed out it's largely our perceptions that disturb the mind. And you can be in different kinds of situations and have lots of different potentials that you could be focusing on. So try to choose what is the wisest thing to be focused on right now. What perception do you want to hold in mind right now? In addition to the breath, you might want to hold on to the perception of warm. It's pretty chilly outside. Remember that story of a John Fu out in the rainstorm? Suddenly found himself stuck in a rainstorm unexpectedly. So the wind and the rain were getting into his umbrella tent, so he packed all of his robes except for his under robe into his bowl to keep them dry. And then he sat there, and his topic of meditation was the body may be wet, but the mind isn't wet. The mind isn't wet. The mind isn't wet. And he kept that in mind. And that got him through the night. His mind was able to settle down and be calm. And so when there are difficulties in life, be very careful about what you're focusing on. You can focus on the difficulties, or you can focus on the things that give you strength at that time. This is one of the virtues of meditation, is that it gets you skilled at sticking with one perception, despite other contacts that are coming in. But again, the contact comes and it goes. And the perceptions, if you're not careful, they can come and go too. But you want to latch on to the ones that are really helpful right now. That gives you the strength to deal with things that are difficult. Because we live in a world where there's gain and loss, status, loss of status, pleasure and pain, praise and criticism. And if we focus on these things in the wrong way, they can cause a lot of suffering. Even the pleasant things, if we focus them on the wrong way, can bring suffering. So you have to learn how to hold the right perceptions in mind. So your goodness, your internal goodness stays strong. Your sense of inner strength stays strong. And that'll see you through.